Hello. Today I will show you the view. Finally, the one I missed yes, last time because of not enough memory on my uh, memory cards. Okay. And um, I'll talk to you a little bit about certain things. Not being a pain in your butt today again. I'll be nice. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See the cat? They know it's better to move because the big cat is coming. The lion cat. The one with a big ego. So they better go. Moon Canyon. Or a canyon of a shining moon. You remember this place? Last time we passed by. You see the bench? Okay. And then the hill up. You see this? I wanted to show you this last time, but I was already out. I mean, out of the memory on my cards. Haha, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay, so you see, last time I went this way, at this crossroads, and I ended up going all the way to the other side of the hill where I showed you the photos of downtown because that was the view, downtown LA. But today, I just, you know, I, yeah, I know, I changed my mind, but we go on this way, see view, and I'll see what's there to view. Okay. Oof. Very strong sun. Okay, look at this. I find this quite interesting. Just the shape of these stairs going up. It's very beautiful. You know? And he gets up to the tree. And there's a house up there. You know? Oh, it's gonna be built. It's being built. Let's see? That's how it starts. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, nice. Another interesting house, at least to me, just because of the forms and shapes. Sitting up there. We're still proceeding this sea view and it says end. What? End? What do they mean by that? There is no end. Okay, look at this. This is some view. It's just some houses, streets. Okay, let's see what's there. You see, it says end. End and a new beginning. Ah, look at all this bamboo. Bamboo. And the light at the end of our tunnel. Okay, this is now the view. I don't know if it's the view, okay. But it's, you know, I guess there's more, but I don't know how far I'm going to get. Plus, I'm running out of time and I don't want to just um, um, waste your time. Though I'm trying to show you a few things, but... Um, okay, anyways, let me now talk to you and give you some substance, some essence. Substan substance and essence. Because um, that's why I make my videos, right? Okay. Okay, um, you know... I don't want to be always a pain in your butt, you know. I, it's not like I intentionally try to put you down, you know, or um, just discourage you about these issues and spiritual journey and, you know, however we want to call it. And uh, talking so-called against the gurus, you know, and all sorts of masters and teachers, you know. But it's just, it's just the fact, you know, that this now, in this time it's the pressure you know in the spirit world is becoming more and more intense and even though you have all this new age so-called new age it's not new age but you know not the real one so you have all these people explaining to you how everything is nice and all this positivity and stuff and you might think everything is just finished right so that we are finally now 
finding the way back to what we um, what we started right here on Earth. But it's not true, you know. It is just the beginning of all the confusion and the chaos that is really coming. And I'm not telling you this again to be a pain in your butt, you know, and tell you um, and try to in certain way humiliate you or so as I said I'm not trying to humiliate you or discourage you in, in any way okay um, oh look downtown downtown LA where is it if you can see it yeah a little bit it's kind of really foggy so that's that's not the point you know the point is why I tell you to be a warrior not to be only a soldier, you know. But again, this has nothing to do with any weapons. It has nothing to do with any physical fighting. It's the mentality, you know, of a warrior. Of having no mercy for yourself, neither for the world around you. Because the world around you doesn't need no mercy. Because if you, you know, <laughs> if the world around you gets the mercy, then the world around you cannot change because you don't allow it to change. You don't allow it to recognize itself in all the, the ways and the aspects and the actions that it's taken, you know? So, and in the same way, the world around you has to pressure you and has to exert this merciless attitude towards and onto you. Because otherwise, again, it does not give you the option and the chance to actually become aware of yourself more. And that's the whole point. That's why my attitude is so merciless. But I'm not trying to say that you should not be human, that you should not feel all these emotions and become a little bit soft from time to, from time, to time. It's not about that. I didn't say that um, now we should all just go slap each other, you know. <laughs> but I mean as you want it, you know what I mean? Whatever you want. If you want to stay in your, in your bubble, in your shield and not understand yourself and always claim you don't know anything and then you know you can also not uh, tap into the powers that you inherently have, you know, as coming from this uh, source, all-powerful, almighty source of life, as life itself. So as I'm saying, you know, it's no time in dimensions, there is no time whatsoever in creation, there is only the conflict between the opposites, and now we are on the level where we are about to reconcile within ourselves and around ourselves but before that happens the fight the battle is going to be the strongest as it always is before before let's say you conquer a dragon the dragon fights the most okay it produces the most intense and merciless fire because it knows it will have to shut itself off the same way before the reconciliation of the opposing forces within us, around us, within everything existing, you know, the battle is the strongest, is the most merciless. So you gotta have power to sustain that. You gotta understand that, you know. If you don't, you only suffer. So if you're not willing to understand the conflict, the purpose and the meaning of it, and acknowledge it, then in the coming times you'll only suffer with no understanding.